27 storm track weather with senior chief meteorologist Bob Lindmeyer. Well, the calendar says we're well into December, but you wouldn't know it considering how mild it was today. The high temperature in Madison topped off at 55 degrees. The average high is 35, so you're 20 degrees above that. The record high is 60. We're just five degrees short of the record high, but we are going to be cooling down tomorrow's high in the low 40s, but that's still above average. Here's a closer look at what we're tracking. First of all, some rain showers tonight into early tomorrow. It will be cooling down this weekend, but there's a late week warm up in the forecast as well. A look at the four degree guarantee shows that uh, we did have. OK, come on, let's advance. Try that again. There it is. You know, it helps if I hit the right button. There's a bunch of them here. So anyway, let's take a look. The actual high 55, uh, the forecast was 52. So within our four degree guarantee, another $27 went into the pot. It's now up to $216. Here highs across Wisconsin, well into the 50s, as warm as 58 in Milwaukee, Sheboygan 57. Across our viewing area, highs were very uniform between about 54 to 56 degrees. And it's very mild, not only through southern Wisconsin, but through much of the nation's midsection. The cooler air has been well off to our northwest throughout the day. And yeah, we were 21 degrees above average and temperatures were a good 15 to 25 degrees above average from the Great Lakes region going farther to the east. And there is a component of climate change involved with this. It looks like uh, climate change has been a contributing factor. Uh, it's likely that uh, climate change and the warming of our atmosphere did have a part in making it so mild today. But things are going to be changing. We have a surge of rain coming our way and low pressure will be coming across southern Wisconsin. It'll be moving fairly quickly. We'll see rain showers later tonight into tomorrow morning, but then as the low pulls away, dry conditions for the afternoon. If there's any light snow during the day, it's going to be in northern Wisconsin. Now after that, uh, we'll see the clouds clear out for your Sunday. Plenty of afternoon sunshine, but colder temperatures, and then we'll keep sunny and seasonably cold weather going into Monday. Coastal southern Wisconsin shows the rain increasing. It's going to be fairly widespread as we go into the early morning hours. We could pick up a tenth to maybe a quarter inch of rain. It starts to diminish already though by 6 a.m. It'll be pretty scattered by then and by 9 a.m. It will be confined to generally our eastern viewers in eastern Wisconsin. Then it comes to a complete end. Now as we go into tomorrow night, there could be a few snow flurries or a few light snow showers, but the chances are low. And even though we start off with cloud cover Sunday morning, we'll see those clouds clear away. We'll have a lot of sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures cooling down readings tomorrow afternoon in the low to mid 40s and by Sunday we'll have highs in the low to mid 50s mid to uh, or mid to low to mid 30s and by Monday we'll have highs in the mid to upper 30s and after that the cool down continues through Wednesday before we start to see temperatures recover later next week and precipitation not much showers end tomorrow morning maybe a few flurries tomorrow night but otherwise dry conditions expected so tonight cloudy skies rain developing low near 38 southwest winds becoming north at 5 to 10 for tomorrow rain ending early then turning partly sunny it will be colder though with a high of 43 westerly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour here's your extended forecast clearing skies for sunday colder with a high of 33 a lot of sunshine monday through wednesday but we'll keep temperatures seasonably cold but then late next week getting back into the 40s, well above average. So no real winter-like weather in this forecast. Just some wet weather tonight, then near to above normal temperatures uh, for the next week or so.